This video is brought to you by McCall's Quilting and RJR Fabrics. Hi, I'm Ashley Sloop, photography stylist for McCall's Quilting. Today I'm going to show you how to fussy cut your fabric. Um, I've got some samples here. What fussy cutting means is to find a motif in a pattern fabric that you want to make focal um, in your block, or it could be in upholstery, in a cushion, or a pillow. Um, but today we're going to talk about quilting and fussy cutting um, your pieces to make a block like this. This is, incidentally, this is called the shoe fly block, um, which will be featured in our October, November 2013 issue of Quick Quilts. Um, so I'm going to pull those out for a second and the very first thing that we'll need to do is to make a template. Now I have just used a graft um, piece of plastic here. You can use any type of plastic you want. Uh, you just want to make sure that it's nice and straight and that it's transparent uh, because you'll want to see your motif through the template here. Um, so I've got a six and a half inch square that will be the, the center flower of our block. And what I did is I just marked it out um, using a fine tip Sharpie. And I marked it and made sure that I also marked in a quarter inch seam allowance here. That's the dashed line that you see. Um, that's really important because when you place your template on your fabric, you wanna make sure that the, the motif that you're centering is um, it's not crammed in there. Um, and when you see where the seams are actually going to go, it really helps to, to figure out what it is that you want to, to make focal there. So I have my six and a half inch square, and then for my border, I have a three and a half by six and a half. Um, and I'm gonna pull my block back in here for a second and show you um, we were able, this fabric line was really fun to work with. It's, it's called Bloom Crazy by Susie Johnson. It's an RJR fabric. And um, it was really great because I was actually able to come up with two motifs to fussy cut in this particular block. So um, I was able to fussy cut the border as well. And I'll show you about that in just a moment. Um, so we have our templates here. And now we're gonna just see how this looks with our fabric. So I picked this pink flower. Um, I'm gonna just show you that first I'm going to place the template here on the front of the fabric and I see that that, that looks really good within our seam lines here. There's plenty of space but not too much space. So that's just the perfect size. Um, now you could definitely mark on the front of your fabric with a white pencil since this is black fabric. But I am going to Turn it over, center it there, and use this fine tip Sharpie and mark um, on the back of the fabric. Now, you want to make sure to place this template along the grain line of the fabric, and that way you don't end up with any stretchiness in, in your piece. And you want to just hold this template down really firmly because you don't want it slipping around. That can easily happen. So put that off to the side. And then I am going to just use scissors today to cut this out. Um, you could definitely use a rotary cutter if that works better for you. Um, so, and you're going to, to see that there, there can be a good bit of waste with fussy cutting um, motifs out of fabric, but I don't like to waste anything, um, as my kids will tell you. And so I keep a little basket here to the side um, of my cutting surface, and I throw all my scraps in there, um, no matter how big or small and find all kinds of uses for them. Um, I've got a couple of cards here that I've made, um, just some little crafty cards, and I was able to fussy cut some smaller motifs um, from the same fabric to do that. And um, you could make a little pin cushion, definitely save your scraps for your scrap quilts, 
all kinds of things. So don't throw those away. All right, so we have our, our center block here um, all ready to go. And then real quick, I'm going to show you how I fussy cut the borders here. So we'll take our smaller template and basically just the same thing. I just decided what it was that I wanted to center in my template. Now at first I thought I would center all three of these flowers. Um, what I realized is that, you know, that's, that's just a little crammed in there, um, especially when you look at these seam lines here, the dashed lines, you're going to see that it's, um, it's just going to be a little too tight. So I decided instead to move it over and just center these two flowers um, and cut into these. So again, um, you would place this along your grain line and um, make sure that you cut straight, but mark it and everything in the same way that we did before. So I hope that has given you a little inspiration today on fussy cutting. And um, this block was really fun to make and um, awesome fabric fabrics that just all go together so nicely. So um, enjoy and we'll see you next time. This video is brought to you by McCall's Quilting and RJR Fabrics.